Did you know that Norway was a colony for more than 400 years? Our forefathers, the descendants of the great Vikings, I mean those who didn't leave Norway, but lived on in the fjords, along the coast and the inland and mountains of this country, they suffered from colonization, exploitation and great nepotism of the ruling Danish elite, effects of which can be still felt today. And that had some great interesting aspects of our present day Norwegian culture, which regularly puzzles foreigners coming here as tourists or students. And another thing that has come out of this 400 year long night of colonization is that we can seem very nationalistic one day each year. And this is what I will show you a little bit and talk about in this video, explaining the great nationalist day of Norway. I hope you will enjoy this day with me in this video. Norway, we have a, a very, very special celebration of our national day, where we got thousands and thousands and thousands of uh, children, everyone in Oslo, marching from our, our main fortress back here, going through downtown, up towards the royal palace to say hi to the royal family. It's, uh, we haven't celebrated in this way for uh, for uh, it's been three years ago actually so uh, a lot of people are out in the streets and I'll uh, show you some uh, video of all these kids and their marching bands and uh, the traditional costumes as uh, many of you might know each costume is from the area where your heritage is uh, well mostly from like my uh, costume here is uh, from the place called Sunner, where a special kind of uh, people are from. And uh, even though you can have fathers and fam mothers' families from different places, um, you can, you're free to select which part of your ancestors you want to seek, sort of like a heritage or commemorate or celebrate with these rather expensive costumes, $2,000, this one, and uh, maybe even twice as much for uh, women and their clothing. And you can tell where people are from by looking at their bunad, we call them. She's from the same area where my mother's family is from. And uh, let me show you now. Everyone is out. There's a lot of alcohol and drinking because it's... Uh, a day of celebration. People start with uh, 8 o'clock in the morning even to, to drink. And look here, up on the hill of the fortress out of Oslo. So this day of celebration some people gather in different people's homes 
and uh, start the day with champagne for breakfast or some other kind of treats and then they can go from homes to homes, different people's homes and then uh, go out and I'm going on a boat down here in a few hours but first I'm going home to some childhood friends now who are uh, planning to celebrate in just about an hour from now yeah so I um, hope you like this uh, way we celebrate our national day here in Norway of course you might know why and I'll tell you why because some people celebrate 1814 the day when we got our uh, uh, the day when we got our constitution which was uh, very much influenced from the French uh, Revolution, the Napoleonic Wars, the uh, Brotherhood and the, and the Freedom, Liberté, Fraternité and Egalité, Equality. But of course from the US Constitution and, uh, and the French Declaration of, uh, of Man, Universal Human Rights, uh, some people celebrate that. But most people celebrate when Norway got, when we got our freedom after the long night when the Danes, for all practical, uh, practi practicality, and the Danish kings ruled over Norway. That one night which lasted 400 years. Oh, look, more people from the same area where my family is from. And uh, so we celebrate this because we are free from the Danes, basically. Our independence, even though a Swedish king, who was actually a French general, Jean-Baptiste Bernadotte, became Karl Johan, King Karl Johan, also here in Norway. And he was a good king. That's why there's a big statue of him in front of the royal palace. All right, I'll show you some more video now. see a lot of people with uh, red suits that's the people celebrating 13 years of school which they do in May and it's culminating on this day and this is the German school in Oslo and uh, here you can also see the French school in Oslo it's a pretty good school actually so uh, a lot of different people are joining in and celebrating this day look at all these nice costumes So you can wonder, I mean, we haven't celebrated this in this way for uh, three years. Where has that Corona COVID-19 disease gone? It's not here. And uh, <laughs> we're all happy celebrating our national day. And I'm on my way to a boat. So in this setting with uh, old meeting new and uh, strange foreigners trying to fit in, which uh, <laughs> obviously is a challenge. Well, I guess this is what it means to be a region in 2022.
It's such a beautiful day today. And for me to be in Oslo on this day and uh, celebrate 208 years since we got rid of the Danes. Well, for me, nothing is better than to go out here to one of these Danes who own, he owns one of these boats. I hope you like that tune. <laughs> so all around here on the Canary Islands, other parts of the world, in Mali, in Africa here, soldiers, people living abroad, like here in Poland, a lot of people are celebrating on this day. And uh, even in the mountains, like you see here close to the area where I live, and here on the top of the mountains, the roof of Norway, as they say, people celebrate all around Norway, and where Norwegians live, far, far north in the Arctic here on Björnøya and Svalbard, and even on Antarctica, as you can see here. So I'll leave you now with some photos of what's going on in front of the Royal Palace on this 17th of May every year. I hope you enjoyed this day together with me. Take care.